<laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, we've got this the equation of a line, two-thirds x plus eight. There it is. You can see it drawn down there. That line, we want to turn that into a parametric uh, into parametric equations, and here's all you do. The instructions say, hey, you've got this line, two-thirds x plus eight, and we want to start, we want to see what goes on with that line, starting at the point 612. Okay, so I've got the point 612, and I want to know what that line is doing. So here's all you do. You know that the slope on that line, you know that it goes up two over three, up two over three. You know that, right? So that means on the x, if you look down in the blue, on the x-axis, per unit of time, minute, hour, days, whatever you're counting, per unit of time, this thing moves 3 on the x-axis, starting at the point, the x part of our point, 6. Do you see that? On the y-axis, it moves up 2 per unit of time, starting at our point 12. So if you look at the, uh, the 612, the blue and the red, 612, that corresponds to our point over there that was given. So we want to look at this, starting at the point 612, and we go, what's this thing doing per unit of time? Well, think with me for a quick second. This is conceptual. At time zero, if I put zero in for t, where's my x? It's at 6. Where's my y? 12. Hey, that's the starting point, 612. But at time 1, where's this thing going to be? You get it? You're going to put a 1 in for the t. And you're going to find out that this thing just moved up 2 and over 3, up 2 over 3. So you can see that that corresponds to the slope. See it? 2 thirds. And you can see that you start at 6 over 12. And so you just converted from what they call rectangular to parametric. It's that easy. Okay? Take a look at it. Boom.